if you could just get everybody to go through this process, then we would have a heck of a lot more money. It's just incredible. I'm so proud to be part of it, and I think it should go on forever. <laughs> the Aspen partnership, um, I, I can tell you uh, from, from work, is, is an ongoing thing. I, I mentioned when I first got to Aspen, I actually thought this was some division, you know, a charitable division of, of something we did. So that speaks to how close the partnership is. It's changing the whole area. It's, it's changing for good, for better. You know, the, the, the statistics have been changing. Um, you know, it's a huge start. I mean, one of, one of the reasons I wanted to come to this program was actually to see how private, you know, investment uh, or contributions can make a difference. In that aspect, I think I'm, I'm actually very happy. Uh, I think we've done really good. I just didn't imagine that they could grow this place so much in such a short period of time. It's just amazing. There's no way that you'll be able to appreciate fully and completely what um, the hospital does here in the community, uh, how it touches people's lives, how it um, helps put people's lives back together and help keeps their lives going unless you are here firsthand, unless you experience it. And once you do, um, you're, you're completely, uh, completely blown away. I think the Tuoco chase was a highlight. Um, it's pretty tough for any future ambassadors. I can still win first place. It was brilliant. I think I swallowed three mosquitoes. Awesome. Could do it all over again. But you're running with people and chatting to people, and it just—it's the most incredible way to start the trip. All of the HIV children to watch them, to watch their enthusiasm, how much energy they are, they put us to shame. And yet knowing that so many of them uh, you know, are living with such a deadly uh, you know, virus probably had to be the single most overwhelming moment uh, among many. And I saw Viola and Maria, who I met six years ago. They're thriving, they're healthy, they're happy. That was just, it was amazing, it was amazing. That was hard to see how small the NICU is. And the room right now is probably the size of my TV room at home, my TV dining room. One of the nurses I talked to had said that this hospital compares to the best hospital in Kampala. It's just amazing that it can be compared to something in a big city. You see babies being cared for and babies that are living now that, that wouldn't have lived. Um, that, that definitely makes you smile. And the staff here, the large staff, that's here at the hospital. It's not just a partnership, it's about um, very important uh, lifeline to uh, people that need it the most. And all the work is to help the people that live here um, and the patients, and that is incredible. And it made me so happy. In a good way, I'm crying because I'm happy. This place is, it's really good. It was very moving. Um, it was tough at times. I'll be using this experience to hopefully connect with this foundation, probably for the rest of my life. Sorry. It was gut-wrenching to say goodbye. You just didn't want to leave, really didn't want to leave. You couldn't look back because you'd have just burst into tears. The the thing that I learned the most was how complex and how all-encompassing 
um, this program is and the improvements that have been made over the years. I just had no concept. There's a lot that can be given that, that can help out your, your fellow man. And uh, this place is a great example of uh, something that's very successful. <laughs> I want to take back the message about how important it is for us not only to continue to do all we can, but to do more than we are doing.